So you want more leads and you think that's what's gonna change your business. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith with Automation Links. Thank you so much for checking out this episode where we're gonna go over getting new leads and new prospects online. Now I get this a lot and most people do. How do I get more leads online on a consistent basis or all at once? Now there's so many gurus and so much hype out there. I wanna tell you that most of it is not true. It takes you, it takes time, it takes creating a relationship to actually get consistent new leads. Now I know you don't wanna hear that and you're probably gonna exit out now, but please keep listening because this is how I was able to grow my business from zero to customers to hundreds of customers. And also the same way I uh, was able to grow my fitness business from zero customers to hundreds of customers by creating real relationships with clients online. It's not the cure going out and doing these ads and all this hype and challenges and whatever people are telling you is working. It may work for a minute, but does it work for the long run? So if you're still searching for new leads, even after trying other things, listen up and stick with me to the end. Now, tip number one that I wanna go over is relationship marketing. You can use relationship marketing online just like you would face-to-face -face with a prospect. You can connect with leads and customers on social media. You can send them emails to give them more value. And then you can use messaging apps on all these different platforms to connect, grow, and build that relationship. Now, the first message, the first email, or the first social media post should not be a sales letter. Now, if I walked into your business right now, would you try to sell me right away? Or would I be an interested customer where really all you have to do is give me some information, maybe provide some value, and I'm probably already interested in working with you? Use that same tactic online. Give value, create relationships, and when they're ready to work with you, they're gonna feel like they have a relationship with you. They're gonna come to you and work with your business when they're ready. Now, you can use emails to follow up with them and give value. You can connect with as many prospects in your area or if you're worldwide in your niche or your market on social media networks. And then most importantly, use all the messaging. Instagram has a messaging, LinkedIn messaging, Facebook messaging. We actually get most of our clients coming from Facebook Messenger. Tip number two, give value daily. You need to be the expert, the go-to, the authority, stay top of mind for everyone that comes to your business. Give as much value online as possible. If I came into your business, you would start helping me uh, with whatever I needed. But then you might have other people or other prospects seeing that, that you're helping others. But if you aren't doing that online and you're only selling, then potential leads and customers aren't gonna know you. They're not gonna see you out there helping people just like them. So if you're giving value over and over and over on a consistent basis, that's gonna automatically build better relationships with people. The people that you're helping, they're gonna share it. They're gonna tell their friends, they're gonna refer. Just like this episode I'm doing today, I'm providing value. I'm telling you how to get more leads so you can grow your business and get more revenue. Because when you get more leads, you get more revenue and you can build a business. But if you're only doing you know, up and down spikes of leads, it's just really hard to hire employees and grow your business. So this is how you do it consistently and continue growing. So I'm providing you value. When you're ready to work with us with websites, you're gonna call us. You're gonna go to automationlinks.com and you're gonna work with us for websites when you're ready or for relationship marketing. Because I continue building and providing value on all of our social networks, on the email, on the podcast, and on our YouTube. So make sure you provide value, help prospects, thinking about that they're gonna be a potential customer. Now, if I sent you 100 new customers today, would you be able to handle it? Would you be able to handle and provide outstanding customer support? Probably not. I wasn't able to handle 100 new customers up until this year because I did not have the right systems and automation in place to be able to handle consistent customers coming in where I had to also provide outstanding customer support. So right now is the time. If you're worried about leads and customers, number one, start providing value like we talked about already. But number two, start setting up all your systems and processes so you can continue building your business when you start getting an influx of leads. 
So what you want to do is have the leads automatically sign up, automatically get on the schedule, automatically get followed up with. And also, if they ever cancel, automatically ask to come back. Or you can ask for a testimonial. You can automatically ask for a referral. If you have all the systems in place and support tickets in place, you're going to be able to handle new leads, maybe not today, but maybe next year or two years or in five years. If you were getting 100 new leads a month, you'd have the system set up and in place to be able to handle them, help them all, but then also provide the best support so you those 100 new customers aren't always canceling, which is what could actually ruin a business. The last tip today is yes or no, continue the relationship. Whether they say yes or no, don't give up on the customer. I just had a customer sign up three years after I first made contact. He wasn't ready three years ago, didn't have the finances, just wasn't ready. He finally came to me three years later because I continued the relationship with him even though he said no. I knew he'd be a good customer. I knew I could help him. So why would I stop creating and building the relationship? So whether they don't ever sign up or they sign up now and then quit, think about that. If they say no to you today or if they're a customer and they stop working with you, continue creating and building those relationships with them because if they've already canceled, they'll come back. Or if they're not ready, when they are ready, they're going to call you. And that's what relationship marketing is all about. That's how we help you guys. By building better relationships online, you're not going to get a new customer today. But you might get one tomorrow on a messaging app. You might get one next week from your website. You might get three next month because you have relationships going out through email. You might get 100 next year because you are consistent, patient, and you built solid relationships online. That's the game changer. All right, guys, so what I want you to do next is go to our website, automationlinks.com. Click on the button to, that says start here. You're gonna fill out a quick form, only three questions long, and then you're gonna be sent to a video where I give you more information about automation links and relationship marketing. So thank you so much for joining me on this episode. I hope it brought you a ton of value. I don't wanna ask for the sale until I've helped you and until you're ready. I and mean, if you're ready, make sure you go to our website, fill out the form, and I'm looking forward to meeting you.